Hi, my name is Chloe. I'm in Dr. Room, Dr. Williams' homeroom class, and this is my mass and gravity project. All right, so for the first part of the project, I'm going to be finding the mass of this ball. It's 100 grams. And the second ball that I have here is actually 500 grams. So since this one is 100 grams and this one is 500, this one has more mass, so it will be heavier. All right, so we, we made this ramp, and now we're gonna see what effect the gravity have on its motion. So I made this ramp, and now the ball's at rest. So we're gonna, we're gonna let this ball slide down and see what effect the gravity has on its motion. So we're going to roll this ball down the ramp, and the more water bottles it knocks down, that's the more gravity it has. And in order for this to be fair between both balls, we mark, we mark the distance so that way it will always be the same distance. So the, fir so the first time I let the ball go, go down, it knocked down 7. The second time it knocked down 10, and the last time it knocked down 8, which is right there. So next we did this purple ball. The first time it knocked down 3, the second time it knocked down 3 again, and the last time it only knocked down 5, which is right there. So from the research, I learned that the more mass is more gravity. I also learned gravity can change the motion of an object. It goes from rest to in motion. <laughs> it's your face. Oh, we got to do it again.